What's up, Bulldogs? I'm Noah Tevin. And I'm Sam Cowan. And this is our first installation of Bulldog, Bulldog Bites. Bulldog Bites is a segment where we go to local restaurants and review them based on three categories. Food quality, ambiance, and price based on a high school budget. Our first location up for review was the Crack Shack. In each of these reviews, we'll be ordering the same meal and rating it while we eat. In this episode, we ordered the Cali Drip Panini and the Banana Wafer Milkshake. This ran us $17 with a tip. Here are our live reactions. I'm thinking a cool 7.5, 8 out of 10. Great sandwich, really good panini. I'm impressed. This, genuinely one of the better shakes I've ever had in my life. I'm going 9 out of 10. Crack Shack is my favorite place to go when I'm working. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 and the milkshake a 9.5 out of 10. I'll start with the ambiance. Overall, I'm giving this place a 4 out of 5. The, it's really well designed, it just looks really nice inside. A little crowded. A little crowded, that's why I took one point off, but other than that, great. I'm going to give the price a 3 out of 5. It was a little pricey. Not cheap. Not cheap, but I think the food was good and it made up for it a little bit. And coming off that, I'm giving the food a 4.5 out of 5. Mm. The sandwich I got was 8 out of 10, really good. And that shake that I got, probably one of the best shakes I've ever had. So, overall, I think we're giving it a 4 out of 5. 4 out of 5. 4 out of 5 pause. Alright, Bulldogs. See you next time. What's up, Bulldogs? Welcome back to Bulldog Bites. This is episode two. Today, we're at Pizza Nono, another spot on 9th and 9th. Pizza Nono is a local pizzeria that has been open for six years and is a staple in the 9th and 9th community. The small interior is tastefully decorated, and there's a great outdoor seating area. What the restaurant lacks in size, it makes up for in character. The staff was very welcoming, and during our visit, they even let us in the kitchen to see our pizza being made. We were able to see the fresh ingredients that they use in each pizza and the wood-fired oven where the pizzas are baked. After watching the entire pizza making process, we got to sit down and enjoy a slice. I ordered the Yes Yes today. It has mushroom and ham on it. I think they skimped out on the meat a little bit, so I'm gonna go 8-5, but I really like the crust. Goat cheese on that, I really like that. So, light pizza and I liked it. <laughs> today I ordered the margarita pizza. I'm going nine out of 10. Really fresh taste. You can tell it was just made in the oven that they have, wood fired. You can taste the char. Really well made pizza. No overwhelming flavors, I'm a really big fan. I'm gonna give the ambiance a 4.5 out of 5. I really like the inside. It was nice and small. A great little pizza shop. The outdoor seating is probably the best. 9th and 9th. A lot of, a lot of greenery. And they were playing really good music. And they're playing great music inside. Very kind people. Just overall great place. Yeah. The owner was very nice to us. So <laughs> 4.5 out of 5. Alright. And now I'm doing food. This is probably one of the best pizza places I've ever been. It's it's a classic pizza. They're not trying to do anything too different, but they know what they're doing and they do it well. The margarita I ordered was very fresh. We know that it's made in-house. You can see the guy making the pizzas the whole time. You could taste the wood-fired like char. The basil tasted really fresh. Overall, great pizza. I'm going five out of five. For the price, I'm gonna have to give it a two. They charged me $3 for a drink. $16 for a pizza and it was a lot of food it was very filling but you know $19 plus a tip for a drink and a pizza it's pretty pricey <laughs> on a high school budget this is a once in a while type of place yeah maybe like a date maybe like a date night or something overall we're giving pizza no no a 3.75 out of 5 paws yeah love the food love the ambience do not like the price as much that's why I gave it a 3.75 all right, Bulldogs, thanks for coming with us to Pizza No-No. We'll see you next time on episode three of Bulldog, Bulldog Bites. Bites. What's up, Bulldogs? Welcome back to Bulldog Bites. This is episode three at Beltex Meats.
Beltex is a unique location because it's primarily a butcher shop, but it also sells sandwiches. They have a daily menu with different types of sandwiches from Thursday through Sunday, as you can see in this shot here. Beltex prides itself in sourcing meats locally and having strong relationships with its farmers and its ranchers. All of their sandwiches were made to order. While we were there, we watched each ingredient being made. We watched them bake the bread, fry the meat, and assemble the sandwich in front of us. Much like our last episode, the entire staff was extremely nice to us. They let us back into the kitchen to see how everything works and let us film. Beltex Meats is a very admirable local business. Not only are they located in the Liberty Park neighborhood, they also make it a point to utilize locally sourced ingredients. We could taste the freshness in our food. Here's our live reaction. Oh man. That's actually really good. Oh man. All right, we just finished eating. We got the Thursday sandwich special. It had pulled pork, pickles, melted cheese on Table X bread. Noah and I talked about it. We both agree this sandwich was a five. Out of five. <laughs> I was expecting high quality meat from a butcher shop like this, but this was some of the most tender, like delicious pork I've ever had. I'm a big sandwich guy, and that was easily the best sandwich I've ever had. For ambiance, I'm gonna give it a 3.5. I think it's a, it's a butcher before a sandwich shop, so there's no indoor seating, and the outdoor seating is very cold. All right, now for the price. Once again, we're basing this off a high school budget. In my personal opinion, it's a two out of five. This is a great place to go with your parents, like on the weekend, come get the Sunday breakfast sandwich. I think that's a great call. What was it? $14 a sandwich? 46 for three. 46 for three sandwiches. Great sandwich. Gonna be a little rough on my paycheck, personally. And for the Sandos, I'm going five out of five. The meat was perfect, pickles were really good, bread was really nice and crispy. Best sandwich I've ever had. I highly recommend the food. They sell pigskin for your dog. <laughs> While we were in the butcher shop, we noticed this wall of awards, and we see why they got them, as we're giving Beltex Meats a 4 out of 5. Alright Bulldogs, that's it for episode 3. We'll see you next time on Bulldog, Bulldog Bites. Bites. Let me get another sandwich. Oh.